I'm fixing a crack. It won't close up. It needs some chick flick tea, oh baby. Yeah. You know about chick flick teal fabric and cracks, right? You don't? Well, you will when I get done with you, partner. Listen, we're still working on the Bajo Quinto. It's in the intensive care unit still, but it's getting better. And I was just talking about the last episode that you would see if you click on the playlist. I think it's episode seven. There's some nasty cracks on the side where when the guitar dried out, they put the bracing pattern the side supports on top of the braces so when everything dried out it blew out the side and cracked it and the top folded up because it had heavy strings these things have heavy oil filled winch line strings on them anyway it's on the playlist we're we are into episode number eight yeah thank you um and today we are going to take everything off of the guitar, all the clamps, all of the steaming and all of that and the crack repair and see what we ended up with. And then we are going to reinforce the inside because this thing is going to need a thicker bridge plate. It's going to need side supports and it's going to need new bracing. So if you want to know about bracing, and you have never done any bracing well join me in the episode after this one or is it one after 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 anyway let's quit playing around here and get to the shop okay here we go this is an exciting time because we are going to see what all of our gluing clamping has resulted in this is one of the times you just want to fling stuff out of the way but it's best to kind of take the minute it's going to take and put the clamps where they go kind of in the order that they might actually go in in or into whatever you want to do keep them sorted by size and keep the tools that you need to work them right there as well notice that George Clinton and the parchment Funkadelic did pretty good in the battle against the glue and most importantly I'm not seeing everything opening back up on the side here so that is a good sign in and of itself so we got that parchment paper works really well including me being able to spin this clamp like so and I'm not even hearing any popping really yeah there's some more work to do there I can see but it's not like this is going to be done today anyway Ooh, now there's some popping and cracking. Hmm. Where are we on the camera? Right where we're knocking it over. That's where. Okay, we're going to loosen this up now. The moment of truth.
softener. and everything that go with these keep them handy when you're taking this apart that way you're not searching for everything the next time you use the tool moment is truth went from almost 10 millimeters to a couple and it flattens out okay back here so and then it gets good right up here so this part right here is probably going to need some reinforcement and remember the bracing has been pulled out of this thing so If you remember right, we had this big piece of wood in here, and ooh, some of the glue leaked through. I need to get a tool. Remember this one, the Sheffield Steel Fruit Spreader Knife? There we go. Now, part of what's letting this drop down is the body split right up here. We fixed this crack, but before we get going too much, we're going to go on to get rid of all the weight. Again, that parchment paper just peels right off. With all the weight gone, we're going to pull this down and we are going to fix this before we start worrying too much about put in the bottom okay guys it looked like the plan that we have to reinforce this with our jigsaw puzzle pieces that we did is going to work out just fine now is it really any surprise that when this brace here remember the one that was here that come up here and blew out and pushed the side out and when things started to come back together that this was going to crack right here you can see that this needs to come in quite a bit and then the basic shame, shape of the guitar and framework will be solid, but that crack runs from all the way here to about right here. And we're going to be able to fix that with some spool clamps, and then we'll come in with some linen and some side braces here once this is all in shape, and we'll be good. We're going to need to do some work up here on this. Uh, place where the top uh, sides meet the bottom and um, having this done will reinforce that but what I want to show you now is I want to retain this this bracing pattern right here and as I told you before you can see the lines that the original builder put in the guitar so what I'm going to do is knowing that this part is not going to be covered up and these reinforcements here they kind of serve as columns around the sound hole aren't going to be covered we're just going to lay the straight edge 
along that pencil line and we're going to make some marks up here wherever those braces were and that's going to help us place the braces when they need to be put back in again these are just reference points Oh, somebody's really excited. My phone is buzzing in my pocket. I should have made this live. There we go. And then what we will do is we'll carry those out to the sides and make marks. there and there there we go now when it comes to gluing these in since they were cut on a bandsaw we're going to want to make sure that we go over the edges and make sure that there's nothing sticking up because if these are not flat and you get a little piece of something in here and you lay this over it it's not going to work out well so a good file and making sure that everything stays out of the guitar to make a good gluing surface that's really important now i have the high glue heating up that's what i'm going to use some people would say, well, let's use tight bond. You go ahead and do that. I'm not going to. And I want to make sure that the line that is going to hold the brace right here, that there's nothing in the way of that. So if I, if I need to uh, sand something off or take that edge down just a little bit, now's the time to do it. Okay, so the hide glue is about heated up and what I want to do here is I've got a neck stand up there underneath the uh, neck and I want to make sure that while I'm putting and working on this as I'm pushing down everything is supported here so I've got these blocks that I can put under the critical points uh, with this loose the way it is, a good indicator is that this is pushing up and this is kind of disappearing. I'm going to fix that after this part is done. But I have a number of odd different things. Wedges, whenever you cut a piece of wood that's wedged to keep it because it comes in handy. But I want this whole thing supported so when I'm pushing down, everything's okay. And then I'm going to actually weight this stuff like so once it's glued in and keep this as flat as possible i don't want to glue something in it's going to warp everything out so let's burn our fingers and get the hide glue going ouch i'm going to keep the water hot because we're going to make sure that this hide glue stays nice and warm so it doesn't start to set up but I've double triple and quadruple checked everything here to make sure that that is gonna uh, fit there and I don't want to come past this line right here because there's gonna be a brace there so put the hide glue on here we don't want to be shy about it this stuff runs like fine sewing machine oil. It's certainly not the stuff in the brown bottle that I used to use before I knew better. So there we go. Yeah, we're not going to be shy about putting it on both sides. And again, we have the edges sanded down like so. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's enough up in that corner. 
Now we're going to take a syringe once we're done and everything gets where it needs to be and put another bead of stuff once we get all of our bracing in. But there we go. There we go. Off to this one. So, if you get a, a one of these reinforcement veneers that's trying to come up on your curl up, anybody knows that every fake luthier in the world cannot throw a piece of wood away and if it does it goes in the fireplace so once this gets a little sticky if i want to make sure that nothing's going to pop up i take a couple of pieces of scrap i have like so if i can get them to stand up and then i'll take and spill my hide glue all over the place but i'll put a block like that and get that set up there and then I'll take a clamp in and come off the edge like so and I don't want to crush the top so I'll get it fairly close so I don't burn up all the slack out of my clamp but then I'll run this down like so and there we go so same thing over here copious amounts of hide glue remember there's a crack right there that we're going to fix later get this on here good like so all right Nobody said this would be fast. Okay, so while those are drying up there, we're going to take a look at this part here. Now, you want to remember that if something goes wrong, you're using hide glue. You can take a heat gun and blow the top of this and heat it up. But at the same time, you certainly wouldn't want to leave this guitar in a 150 degree car, you know, because you know there's rules like don't leave pets in cars don't leave palmiro jump pile guitars in cars etc if something is going to get as hot as the hide glue was when it was heated up expect the hide glue will cut loose is that camera angle better yeah i think it is so we've set these panels in place like so and put them all in there to line them up but we're certainly not going to glue them all at once okay again there's going to be a brace right up there so make sure our hide glue is heated back up we'll take this opportunity to do that and now that everything is in here I can pop that one out and put a little mark right there and we'll put a little 
mark right there and that will tell us where our hide glue is going to go. Now I've already got a couple of pieces of wood. I'm going to come through the sound hole to clamp and do a cross brace up here to make that work and then we've got some stuff down here that'll be ready to do the same and then we can just put a couple of these heavy Quercus agrifolia blocks in the middle to hold everything down. So that said, blues up on top. I might as well take this off. You know what, let's leave it on there so nothing gets marred where you won't even be able to see it on the inside of the guitar, right? Good. Alrighty then. Okay, now we are just going to put in these last couple pieces and because we have the marks where we need to know where the bracings are going to go, we're just going to glue these in here, clamp everything up and give everything time to dry. You remember our friend here? Here we go, we got some clamping to do. Fortunately, we've got these blocks that'll get us close up to the side. And we will be waiting for glue to dry as usual. Now I've turned these blocks up on end and I can put these spanners across there and push down on everything and that'll even help us get one right there okay we've got just about all the clamps on there we go and we've got one here that's just a little bit loose you remember me telling you about the wedge shaped pieces of wood well you can just pop that in there like that and do those clamps. And I think our reinforcement panel jigsaw puzzle is about complete and we are waiting for glue to dry. Okay guys, we are in a place where I think we can breathe just a little bit. When we started tearing this thing down this morning, getting the clamps off of it, you remember that there was a big split right running along here and we had these pieces of tape here kind of signifying that we needed to put something to flatten out the crack and maybe even put a, a dampener or a cushion behind it, this little piece of cork paper. That way it would keep the crack level and we've done that. We also know that there was a split that that crack that we were talking about is right there and it's split open into two significant 
cracks right there and then we also had one running along the body down here and we've got that lined up now once this thing comes undone here we're going to have to think about putting bracing on the inside of the uh, guitar running this way that will help this stuff not flex and then we're going to start thinking about what we're going to do here because the back of the guitar sat right here there's in the next episode we're going to talk about bracing we're going to reinforce the sides these cracks are not going to stay closed uh, and then we got to figure out how we're going to make this unilateral there's not some kicking out of the side because that'll just lead to problems we're going to put a new back on it and then at some point we're going to have to worry about the neck a little bit because there is a chunk missing out of it right there and there's all kinds of things going bad look there's some hide ready to be mixed up but all in all considering where we started this morning i am very happy okay guys hey you remember chuck barris you don't well i do chuck barris the gong show gene gene dance machine I, I need to give you a little clip up there right about now don't watch it till i'm done talking to you pay attention who is the hero of the episode did you ever see this yeah it says me greatest at everything yeah somebody gave this to me i didn't bought this i didn't buy this excuse me so while we're talking about it, i have a question you see people buying <laughs> trophies at yard sales excuse me buying trophies at cut uh take two buying yards buying trophies at yard sales Acton. hey have you ever noticed speaking of this trophy that i have that says greatest at everything don't i have a hat up here that says something like that too here let me look you see that logo oh yeah it's over there it says world's greatest anyway that's all real world's greatest thank you martwin do I know you meant it to be a joke, but that joke's in the mirror. Where was I? Oh, yeah. You're at a yard sale. People are selling trophies. Um, you know, if I ever won a trophy, I'd want to keep it. That's why I kept that one right over there. Anyway, so here's the question. If you're going to buy a trophy at a yard sale, why are you buying the second and third and fourth place trophies? Help me understand that. If you're going to fake it that you're good at something enough to misrepresent that you actually won something. And no, no, we're, we're not talking about this. The soccer everybody gets a trophy days we're talking about when trophies meant something anyway you're buying a third place trophy at the yard sale yeah I, I was the duck duck goose state champion I've got the shirt I'll show you next time but what are you doing what will you stoop to next Lutherism I don't know that didn't come out right anyway who wins the trophy this time? Well, it's obviously the body press. Excuse me. This kind of buff doesn't just happen on its own. Anyway, the body press. I made this in a long episode. It's torturous and painful, even more so than most of them up there now where I show you how to make this. Also, blue painter tape, who was turned into a puzzle that really helped us out so um where we're at right now is i really think the patient is getting better and better 
all the time. So, um, you got to kind of make it up as you go sometimes on this kind of stuff, but I think that you're going to like the next episode because we're going to have to redo the bracing. And I am actually going to try to keep the pattern that it had uh, somewhat. We're going to put bigger bracing on it. And, and you know we're going to amp this thing up at the end because the acoustic quality of it was pretty much zero. And then um, I came along. So we're going to be in the negative number range. Anyway, I'm going to throw this episode on the playlist next time. It's about bracing and getting that, especially that one side to stand up and get everything uniform because after the bracing and the body is done, it's going to be time for the wonderful challenge of putting the back on it and getting the neck right and everything because this thing, as I found out, was pretty flimsy when the sum of all of its parts was divided by me and that neck has got to be right and also that sunken top that's got to be right so so you're gonna see a bridge plate going in for that fancy scroll bridge and you're gonna see binding and stuff you haven't seen before I know this is a guitar that's not too common but if you watch this playlist if you haven't already there's virtually anything that could go structurally wrong with the guitar in this episode. So, hey, thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe if you have not. See ya!